and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy from Amy Being Mum. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links which I have popped in the description box below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. So today I have a Primark haul for you and it is a totally mixed bag. There are a few things for Andrew, um, some things for the girls and some bits and bobs for me. So I'm just going to dive in and show you what I got. So the first thing is for Andrew. He picked these himself and it was just a pair of comfy joggy bottoms. They've got zip pockets and um, the drawstring and they're kind of a grey marl effect. And at the bottom they have these cuffs and we just love wearing like loungewear and stuff in the house, like comfy pyjama bottoms and things. So um, he wanted to get a pair of comfy joggies for when we're watching TV in the evenings. So that's them and I'll pop the price of them up here. Okay, the next thing was t-shirts. Andrew picked up four t-shirts for himself. They are just the Primark Basics ones. He went for the slim fit and they were only two pounds each. So he got a range of colors. He got this khaki colored one. He got like a salmon pink kind of color, I would call it. I really like that one. And a pale pink, he's gone for some summery colors. I don't think he's got any pink clothing actually. So I don't know why he chose two different pink tops but there we go and kind of a mint green one as well so that's kind of a colour theme I would say he's got going on there hmm very good Andrew okay the next thing I got is something for myself and it is a pair of joggy bottoms as well also a pair of grey ones I've gone for a different style. They had the equivalent of Andrew's ones in the girls, um, but I thought matching was going a little bit too far. So I got my own pair. They've got stretchy waistband and drawstring. They have pockets, but not zip ones, just open ones. And they are as well um, cuffed at the bottom. I went for a size 12, so they'd be nice and hopefully big and comfy and not too tight, so hopefully they're good and I just went for plain grey because as soon as I come home if I'm not going out anywhere else I like to get on my pyjama bottoms but invariably somebody will come to the door whether it's the postie or someone to call for Caitlin and I'm always in my pyjamas so I wanted to get a pair of jogging bottoms so that I'm not quite in my pyjamas but I'm still as comfy. Okay the next thing I got for myself and um, if you watched my shop with me video where we went to Primark I'll link it below if you haven't watched it um, I showed you these tie-dye tops and I got one for myself and I just love it. I went for this pink one and um, it's got a tie at the bottom and it's got this sort of cut out detail here which is really nice if you've got tan and it's got big loose sleeves and um, when I wore it I actually turned them up but you can wear them just normal and I just love the colour of these. I'm trying to wear a bit more colour so I got this one but I actually wish I'd got the grey one as well. I might go back and get the grey one because it was really nice as well. Um, again, if you watch my shop with me video, you'll see the grey one. So that is the top and I really like it on. It's so comfy and it's really loose and baggy and it's a nice feel. It's like cotton. Um, yeah, it's really breathable and nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Oh, and it was six pounds. I also bought, on the same day, I bought this top. I didn't get this in Primark though, I got it in Zara, but I just thought I'd mention. It is a long sleeved um, sweater top and it, it's like this at the bottom and it comes down longer at the back. And it was 12 99 from Zara. I, I've never bought anything from Zara, I don't think, for myself. So I can't tell you um, whether they wash well and, or they last well, but um, I just love the colour, so I picked this up. And like I said, I'm trying to wear a bit more colour, so um, yeah, I got this on the same day as I got the Primark things, but this was from Zara. Okay, while I'm mentioning things that I didn't get from Primark, in my Primark haul, um, I thought I'd show you these shoes that I picked up as well. I got these in New Look. I'm actually going to return them, but I thought I'd show you them anyway, in case you're looking for something similar. Um, they were... 29.99 and I picked them up because I'm looking for shoes to wear on my wedding day and I wanted to get something with a bit of a platform because Andrew's really tall and I'm really small 
Um, so I picked these up, but they're actually a bit small. I've gone for a size four, which is my normal shoe size, but they're a little bit small. So um, I'm gonna take them back and see if I can get a bigger size. But it's really hard to find shoes with platform um, at the moment because it's not really in just now. So um, they had these ones and they're kind of silver sparkly and I just thought they'd be kind of nice to peek out under my wedding dress. So I think I'm gonna take these back and see if I can get them in a size five. If anybody has seen any shoes that would be suitable for me to wear for my wedding that have a platform on them and that will be comfy on the day, please can you tell me in the, not in the description, in the comments below because I'm really struggling to find a pair and I need to get ones soon because I can't get my wedding dress altered until I have shoes. Okay, the next thing I got for myself was this top. I really love it. Um, it is a floral top and it has sort of pinks and blues and all different colours. It's just a really plain vest top. I hate these ribbon things. I cut them off as soon as I buy something. Um, yeah, it's just a very plain vest top. It's this kind of nylon-y material, which I don't really like, but because it's a vest top, I don't mind it too much because it won't be touching me too much. Does that sound weird? It does. If it was like a long blouse, I wouldn't like it. I feel like clammy and ugh in it. But because it's an open vest top, it's not too bad. And I loved the pattern. They had loads of these this style of top in lots of different patterns, if that is a style that you like. But I really like this floral one. It goes with my jumper I'm wearing today, doesn't it? And that was four pounds. The next thing I picked up was something I saw in the sale aisle and it is just a plain lilac t-shirt and it was just a pound. So I thought I would pick it up because it's just a pound. And I thought, even if I just wear it in the house, it doesn't really matter because it was, it was a pound. You can't go wrong for a pound, can you? I've said a pound like how many times? But it's just this top. It has the raw, edging and the same on the sleeves and it was a pound funnily enough and I quite like the colour I don't know we'll see how it looks once it's on I actually watched a video recently and it was showing you how to like distress tops by cutting bits and things so I might try and do something like that but um yeah I picked that up just because it was cheap Okay, the next thing I got was some socks for Elle because we can never find socks for Elle. Um, they, I don't know, they just seem to disappear in my house. So I picked up this pack of one, two, three, four, five pairs of socks for £2.50 and they've got this um, blue spotty with pink trim. There's this one, this pair, I love pink and turquoise together. Um, lemony colour, oh the light's not very good today, I'm sorry about that. There we go. And this one here. So that was a pack of socks for Elle and I got a second pack which were £2 for five pairs again and I just got plain white ones because um, it's coming up for the nicer days and Elle has some nice white sandals and I don't really like um, her having bare feet and sandals because I think they'll rub and hurt so um, if she's going to wear socks with them some nice white socks would look nice. I also picked up a pack of three vests for Elle and I always go for the sleeveless ones. I've already taken one out because we had to use it. But I always go for the um, sleeveless bodysuits because um, it doesn't matter whether she's wearing something with sleeves or sleeveless on top of the vest and you're not going to see the sleeves. Whereas if it's one with sleeves and it's a short top you can sometimes see the sleeves. How many times am I going to say sleeves? Um, so I picked up this pack and that was... Oh, I can't see a price. Okay, I'll insert the price up here of how much these were. They weren't very much, much cheaper than the likes of Next or somewhere. And they're perfect. So I just got three packs, three packs, three white vests in one pack. The next thing is, oh, I'm all covered in fluff off everything. The next thing is a pack of socks that Andrew picked up. It was five pairs for five pounds. So you can't go wrong for a pound per pair of socks. He's taken one pair out already because he needed to use them and the rest are like this. They're kind of old man socks, aren't they? They're a bit like golferish, aren't they? We take one out and have a look. Let's see. Yeah, he's gone for these ones. I presume he's gone for these because they're black at the bottom for work. So yeah, five 
pairs of socks for five pounds. You can't really go wrong, can you? I picked up a packet of pants for Caitlin. Um, they're the short style ones, 100% cotton, five pairs for £3.50, so you can't go wrong. And I loved the design of these. How cute are they? I wish I'd seen if they had like bigger sizes for me. They're so cute with the flamingos and things. Um, I might go back and get up here a pack for myself. I love those colours. So yeah, they were £3.50. Um, I also got a pack of heel shields. Heel shields? That's a tongue twister. They were only one pound and I thought I would give them a try because I love wearing my Converse but I find that they really rub the back of my heel. Um, I don't know if anyone else finds that with their Converse. So I thought I would give these a try and see if that helps with that. They had loads of different, um, like, what do you call it, foot solutions? I don't know. For shoes they had like um, these spongy things for the back of your heels and they had ones for your like the ball of your foot and they had like a whole insole of these um, and I think I'm probably going to go back and get some more to wear on my wedding day because I'll be doing lots of dancing and you want your feet to be nice and comfy. So I picked these up, we'll give them a go and see how they are and if they're good then I'll go back and get more for my wedding. Oh, I've been want meaning to pick up one of these somewhere for ages and so I got it in Primark because it was just a pound and it is one of these little compact brushes. I used to have one when I was younger um, that I used to take to school, I think. Um, I haven't had one for years, but they're so handy because you open it up and you've got the mirror on one side and on the other side you have a little brush. You just push it out, like, it goes like that and you just, and you've got a brush and it's so handy. You can pop it in your handbag and then you've got the compact mirror as well because I've never got a mirror when I need to put on lipstick or something. So yeah, that was a pound, which is a bargain. So, yep, got one of them. Again, if you watched my shop with me video, you'll have seen these plates. I picked these up in the blue design. They're melamine, so they're non-breakable, but I think they look really nice. I like to use kids' plates. I tend to use Elle's IKEA plastic plates for me because um, they're nice and light and they're a good size. They're better size actually than my Denby side plates that I would use if I was a proper adult. So um, yeah, I thought I'd get some more grown up kids plates and I thought I'd get these. I, they remind me of the um, designs in Anthropology. If you shop there, you'll know what I mean. So I got two of those and my actual Denby dinner plates are um, like a pale blue. So I thought that would go kind of well if I want to put out biscuits or anything. Um, it would go with my teapot and things. Not that I ever use a teapot if I did. So I picked up those and they were to do four pounds for two plates so two pounds each did i say four plates two plates four pounds for two plates two pounds per plate so that is them and the last thing is one of my favorite things that i got in my shop and it is a set of earrings for three pounds it's a, i say a set there's 20 earrings in this pack and i just thought they were really nice and i'd never wear earrings i'm not really an earring person um, I'm not like overly girly or anything so yeah I don't tend to wear earrings but I thought these were kind of not too girly and I've got my ear pierced up at the top and I wanted to start wearing it again but um, I didn't have any studs to try it out so I thought I'd pick some up and my favourite ones are these little arrow ones and um, what other ones did I like? Yeah I had, I had this one on on the top of my ear the other day and what other ones is there? It's a good selection. I'll probably pick a few for myself and then offer the rest to my sister because she wears earrings more than me. And these are in gold, but they had a really good selection of earrings in gold, rose gold and silver. They have really nice costume jewellery actually in Primark. So if you need something for a night out, um, yeah, it's worth checking out what they have. So that was three pounds for a 20 pack. So that is everything I got on my shopping trip at Primark and Zara and New Look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments below as always and I'll see you all soon. Bye! <laughs>